hey what's up you guys and welcome back to the channel if you are new welcome hit that subscribe button if you are a returning subscriber hey welcome back i i gotta talk to y'all about something something that i really truly truly hate so we're gonna talk about this right now um I hate these dating sites. I I really don't understand. I can't fathom for the life of me why majority of you men It's not why. I don't understand where you people come from. I don't know who birthed you. I don't know what animal you came from, but I'm going to let you know right now, I am not the one, okay? Um, I, I'm really not understanding, <laughs> you know, the lack of respect that you people have for others. Prime example. So... If those of you who don't know, I am single. Am I single by choice? No. Um, but we're not gonna get into that right now. Uh we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh so I'm not single by choice. However, do I enjoy my single life? Yeah. I'm focusing on my goals and getting this bag. Great. I'm on dating sites. Because I'm bored. I'm just going to put it out there. I'm not on there looking for nobody. Because I don't particularly care to engage in activities with these weird people. I don't have time for it. However, what I'm not going to deal with is the lack of respect. When you hit me up. Or you like my page and I hit you up on some hello I expect a response okay so the other day I'm on a certain dating site I'm not going to say which name because they do not sponsor me and I'm not about to no anyway I'm on this site and I'm just on there because I'm bored and I have nothing to do. My ex will get to that. Um, yeah. And I'm just sitting there, you know, scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. I see someone like me. Great. So, you know, I like back. It turned out to be mutual. So, I'm like, okay, so let me say hello. I send, you know, a hello and I'm sitting waiting for a response. I'm being left on red. Let's start with that. First of all, I'm not ugly. I know that I'm not. So you're not going to leave me on red. Second of all, if you were the one that checked me out, I'm over here minding my blackness. Okay? So, me being me, I'm like... So, you just gonna leave me all right? Okay. So, I sent a message. I'm like, you know, you like my page. I like back. It was a match. I said hello. You're not gonna speak? That's rude. Let me tell you how a lot of these uh boys, because these are not men. I know what a man is. I've dealt with one. Um, These boys who clearly are raised by uh wolves and other creatures and animals because they're clearly not raised by adults and they're clearly not raised by women or men um yeah they 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 can be very nasty so this um goblin decides to hit me back b-i-t-c-h first of all you don't even live, you live far anyway. 
So you see that because cl it's clear as day on my page and you still decided to like my page so you can at least speak. So I let him know a thing or two. And I said, let me tell you something, MF. Um, <laughs> first of all, you're not that cute because he wasn't. And the only reason why I like why you why I like your page is because you like mine. So I'm like, let me just see, you know. Okay. And then when I got to your page and I seen the rest of your pictures, you weren't that cute. So you really that's another thing. If you're not even that cute, you have no right to have an attitude. You have no right to try to be cocky. <laughs> okay. So another thing that I hate about these dating sites. Please do not ask me if I want to smoke with you. No, sir. I don't know you. That, that, that is not the first thing that you pop up. In the, for, the first question when I say hello, my name is, oh, my name is this. Nice to meet you. Great. That's crime. But then you hit me with the, so do you smoke or drink? Let me make this very clear. For those of you out there who are men who are probably watching this, I am pushing 30. Nothing is attractive. It's not attractive to me when you ask me questions like, do you smoke, drink? That that doesn't attract me anymore. Um, I've elevated my life from trap dudes to men who actually have jobs and probably wear suits so therefore i don't need you to ask me questions as soon as we start speaking about whether or not I, if i smoke or if i drink and then say to me oh maybe we could smoke one day no first of all no we don't we won't why because one i don't know you who i roll my own stuff and three i don't know what you got in yours Okay, and I'm not trying to be smoking none of your stuff so that you can have me somewhere in some alley doing whatever. Not going to happen. That's not going to happen. So, when you approach me, approach me the way a grown man approaches a grown woman. I'm a grown woman with a child. I do not have time nor the energy to sit and have conversations with little boys, okay, who are my age. You're, you, you are not a man if you still do these things. Please don't come in my inbox asking me if I smoke a drink because I'm really going to just sit there and let you sit there and talk to yourself. Okay, please. Now, as far as my ex is concerned, um, yeah. <sighs> so, if any of you seen my very first video, official video, I... That was the, he, um, what did he do? Cut me off? Yeah. Then he decides to bring his little yellow self back into my life. Um, what, last month? And call me. And that was the last time we spoke was last month, yet He's still sitting on my Facebook as a friend because I allowed him, you know, because I accepted his request. And now he's just sitting there, just taking up space on my Facebook. Um, That is my fault because I'm dumb and stupid and naive. Yeah, so now I'm sitting there just sitting and watching him, I guess, probably sit on my page and watch me. And take pictures and put them in his phone um, to be a stalker. Whatever. Anyway, so um, that situation, I don't know what that's going to be about. And I, at this point, I really don't care. Um, because, you know, if you really wanted to, you know, fix the situation, we would be fixing it right now. But obviously, we're not. Um, so now I'm stuck. Well, not really stuck. But I'm sitting on these dating sites to be around a bunch of imbeciles who don't have any respect, any remorse, any, you know, cooth about themselves. Um, yeah. And that's just how that goes. It's just, it's just a wonderful thing. Um, this is just me ranting. I know that I'm ranting. Um, because I really want you men, um, to understand that, um, you, you, 
you're not as popping as you think you are. If you think that you are, that's because your mom told you that you are popping. And I really don't understand why she told you that. Um, please don't, don't, don't come at me with the foolishness, okay? Because I'm really not the one nor the two. Um, I will read you for filth for days, okay? I don't have time. I don't. Do you see this F boy glow? I sit mind my business and drink water all day. I don't have time to deal with nobody's retarded son. Either you get your life together, talk to me with respect, or keep it pushing. Like, I, okay, please. I just don't have the energy for it. I don't. I don't. I really don't. I hate a lot of you. A lot of you dudes. I hate all of you. I hate a lot of you. Why do I hate you? And I know it's a strong word, but I really do. Because a lot of you really, I don't know, I get, you, you, you talk to women as if you were not birthed by one. And unless you talk to your mother that way, which I think you probably do, because if you talk to anybody else that way, you probably talk to her that way. And if she lets you talk to her that way, she's an idiot and I, she needs to get smacked in the face. Um, I really can't fathom the mindset of you y'all i don't understand it i really don't understand it i don't understand it i don't understand why you guys be on these sites and 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 try to engage with these women and come at them in their inbox with the foolishness and then you know or you you waste their time like their picture and then call them all types of bees because they're telling you that you're being disrespectful because you know you, you are you're being rude i need men of 2020 to get it together in 2020 to get it together please please get it together Please get it together before you try to approach me. I'm getting my life together. I'm over here grasping life. I'm over here just, you know, loving life, getting my life together, getting this money. I need you all to be on the same uh, accord as I am, please. Or if you're not, then you can go to Alicia Keisha, a teacher who does not care that you speak to them any type of way. You're not going to do it here. I, okay? I need you all to either get, get it together figure out what you want, talking to my ex, um, and the rest of you just need to, you know, learn how to speak to people and not sit in the inbox and ask them if they want to smoke or drink, because that's not cute, and if you are almost 30 or pushing, you know, pushing 30 or are 30, and you're still sitting in women's, and I say women, because we are women, there's not a lot of little girls on there, I, I can tell a little girl from a woman, Okay, if you're sitting in our inboxes and you're sitting there talking about do you smoke or you drink, and that's the only question, that's the first question that you come up with, that's an issue. You need to reevaluate your life. Go talk to somebody. Go recreate a relationship with your mother, because clearly you don't have one if you could sit in my inbox and ask me if I smoke or drink and not ask me anything else that's important. And another thing. Another one. Oh, do you work first of all one more last thing um when a woman says that she has a job when you ask her if she has a job and she tells you yes that she works from home believe her because nine times out of ten she really does work from home what you men need to understand is that us women find ways to make money okay just like y'all found ways to make money from home too in the kitchen if you know what i'm talking about whipping in the kitchen thank you so when a woman says that she works from home please don't assume that she does not have a job because she does okay women find ways we have ways of making our money from the house a lot of us don't have to get up and put on a suit and go outside okay just because some of you have to get up in the morning at six o'clock in the morning go outside and go get a job and go work in a factory or wherever you work or work a truck and don't get paid much that's not our problem some of us know how to get it, how we get it, okay? So, whenever you want to sit and assume that we out here not working because we don't have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to need you to reevaluate that, okay? Thank you. So, that's all I have to say about that. This is the end of my rant. I'll be back with another video. And um, I'm going to need you men to get it together.
please get it together before you come to me because I'm not the one know the two um so make sure that you like comment subscribe make sure you share this out to all your weird behind homeboys because I know they probably want to they, they, they need to see this um so yeah um and I'll see y'all later